Well, friends, I am back today with kind of a crazy expensive Aldi haul, still within my grocery budget for the month of May. Lots of goodies on this table. This is more my fill-in haul, but yeah, we got some extra goodies and stuff going on, so let's just have a look at this and see what's really going down on my dining room table today. So Zion went with me to Aldi, and so we also have some fun, good snacks in here. We got some green tea and some Arnold Palmer. The kids will have, they can pick one tonight for dinner. They've already been gotten into. And of course, these were like $3.69 each. Not super cheap, but a treat. And while we're talking about treats, yay, one of you, or two of you, a few of you, there you go, have told me to try the Aldi like Halo Top, and so I did. So these are similar to Halo Tops. I think Aldi calls them protein pints. And so, of course, I got peanut butter cup. And so it's light ice cream, 21 grams of protein, 320 calories. I will eat the whole thing. No, like, fourth of a pint for me. Um, so I got peanut butter cup flavor to try. I got two of the mint chips, one chocolate cookie dough. That's the only chocolate chip cookie dough they had. I would have got more. And Travis really likes vanilla, so I got him four vanilla. So you see, I got six for myself and four for him. I like that math. On to the cheese. Last grocery haul that I'll link down in the description below was for like heavy freezer meals and other fill-in items. This haul, you shall see other fill-in items. So we've got four packs of mild cheddar. My, the, my Aldi had pepper jack. Yeah, three packs. Three packs of pepper jack. Three packs of mild cheddar. And then I got a couple packs of different deli meats. We got chicken, ham, and turkey. And so that's just to have more lunch options. We did, glory hallelujah, we got the freezer peanut butter and strawberry jam sandwiches made. Talking hand is snapping and excited about that. But just more sandwich options. I got some pistachios. I don't always have these. I saw them, these were on the expensive side too. They were $4.99 a bag, but then again, I like them, so there's that. Two things of cottage cheese. Now this is on the kid treat side of life. I only got two of these Danimals and were $2.24 each. And I figured the younger kids could have, what was my math on that? Yes, two each. That's why I had Zion pick out some more treats. There's also some gummies that he picked out and some pretzels for him and Jaden. They're not in this haul. They've already been dispersed. So treat amounts. And did I tell you, let me say it again. These were $2.49 each. Okay, okay, and you know Halo Top can be $5 or more. Sometimes I find it on sale at Sharp Shopper for a dollar. Sometimes I found it for like $3.50 at Walmart. $2.49 is a good price. Um, for the family member on that was on antibiotic, I got two more probiotic packs of yogurt. And then, let's see, we've got some prunes. We hadn't had prunes around here in a while, and then we got two things of raisins, and these were $2.49 each as well. Big tower of yogurt. I'll tell you, one tray of yogurt's already been handed out as snacks. This Aldi, see like talking hand is singing, still has good yogurt prices, 29 cents each. Didn't even bother going into Sharp Shopper. Just for the sake of time, I didn't need to. And I knew that this was a good yogurt price. So I got 72 total yogurts, six of the trays, five are here. For the eggs, these were a dollar and nine cents a dozen. I got 10 dozen. If I'm at Walmart, I get the box of five dozen eggs. If I'm at Costco, I get the big trays. Sometimes Aldi will get in this egg price war and they'll be like 39 cents a dozen. <laughs> but anyway, dollar not a dozen because I was there. Um, I got myself four things of almond milk and then as a treat to the kids, this will be gone like tomorrow morning, I got three things of orange juice. Now I did get some meats. I want to do a video where, you know, I like to tell you all what videos are being planned and then they'll take me like six months to get out. But here's the plan right now. I want to do a video where like I do a week of sheet pan dinners and so I needed some different meats for that. I got four packs of chicken drumsticks. These were 99 cents a pack. I plan on using two packs for 
a sheet pan dinner, you know, of course, large family sheet pan dinners. Two more will just go in the freezer and we'll use at some point coming up. Yes, we have freezer meals, but I also share recipes. So mama's always a cooking. Then also for the sheet pan dinners coming up, I got two of these packs. This is center cut pork chops, $3.49 a pound. See, I'm reading it upside down and looking through a camera. This is 1.95 pounds and the other one is pretty much the same. So almost four pounds total. Then I got these bratwurst sausages and I will look at my receipt to tell you that price in a minute. And then steak wise, I got these um, eye of round. I wonder why that, did that get pulled off? We'll go look at the receipt. Oh, here we go. Four ninety nine a pound. This was only a pound. So I got, yeah, so $20 right here for this steak for me to do those sheet pan dinners. You can thank me later because you'll love the dinners. Okay. And then with the bratwurst, I got four of those. They were two eighty nine dollars a pack. Tons of fruits and veggies. I got three of these cute little potato bags. Again, this is to have different vegetable varieties on the sheet pan dinners that I share. Got some mushrooms. Got three packs of tomatoes because we do have a lot of tomato eaters around here. Just one pack of mini peppers. A ton of broccoli. These were $1.49 each. I think I got seven packs of them mainly for snacks. Yes. Okay. Cauliflower. I had sheet pan dinners in mind with that. Two packs of pears, one pack of green onions. I do like their Brussels sprouts. So these are microwavable bags, but I used these on my last pork sheet pan dinner and they just turned out nice. So it's four pounds there. We have these asparagus. We got two pounds there. And then I got six pound total of the cuties. Also, tons of baby carrots. And my thought was the kids eat them as snacks. So I was thinking we've got four Four pounds here for snacks, three pounds to sprinkle on the different one. Again, when we do the week of sheet pan dinners. Um, then I got two packs of this spring mix. This is just for quick salads for the coming days. These were $3.49 each. $3.49 of Mama Sanity. Ask me if I care. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, one pack of grapefruits. Gabriel really likes grapefruit. And when I was there, I heard him say, I like grapefruit in my head. So I got a bag there. I got two packs of kiwi. Wah, 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 poor pint of blueberries. Yep, it spilled. So anyway, <laughs> we have one pint survived. Yay, that's just sad when that happens, right? Then, okay, and then this bag of red potatoes did not need to get put on the table. It's not from this haul. Pretend you didn't see it. Did I say two things of kiwi? Two things of kiwi. Look at this. How exciting is this? So we know Sarah over on Our Tribe of Many, I'm pretty sure she told me and she told us in videos that she ordered it on Amazon. I can just never seem to get that order in. Tonight when I went into Aldi, they had these there for only $4.99. I was so excited and it's supposed to peel and core and slice. It should just be the best thing ever. I got three pineapples. Pineapples right now, of course, these aren't ripe yet. They're only $1.29 each. So exciting. Oh, yes, singing, talking hand. Okay. So I got two of these, one for our family and one as a gift for another family. So super excited about that. And then with apples, I just got a variety. You know, we could go out and we just take a bag of apples and sandwiches and stuff with us. So we got, what are you? Yes, and we got Pink Lady and the green, Granny Smith apples. And yeah, there you go. So we've got about, what are these? 12 pounds of apples, I think. Then we haven't had bagels in a while and I did not even get any cream cheese, but we have butter, we have peanut butter, we'll be okay. I love the Aldi bagels because they're so nice and big. They're only $1.49 a pack, which seems like a deal for the size. And so we got two plain, three blueberry, three cinnamon raisin. We also have two cantaloupe and I'm gonna use that fantastic cantaloupe slicer on there. And then also two watermelons. Also what's happened today, we've had, we just had a lot going down today. I ordered 30 new baby chicks. I'm getting my third flock of hens a going. It's been a few years. It's time to do chickens again. All that to say, we went to pick them up. It's been super exciting and fun and cute and peep, peep, peep. And then uh, they sent us actually 31. 
I ordered, um, what did I order? I guess I could do a chicken haul too. I didn't film a chicken haul video. I will link down in the description below whenever I ordered chickens almost four years ago. Really cute, Daniel's a baby. You'll enjoy watching that. I just didn't feel like doing all that filming today. You know, someday you gotta go with the flow. And I thought, I shared a bunch on Instagram and for sticking around in my video, I'm gonna give you a quick chicken haul tour in a minute instead of doing another one. You know, okay, okay, are you ready? This is like my most expensive Aldi haul, I think ever. And I still have some more left in my grocery budget for May if I needed anything else, but I think we're good. Okay, it's just one of those receipts, like I'm still making excuses. It's one of those where like, I don't know, it just keeps on going. My oven's beeping, we have stuffed shells in the oven for dinner. $369, wow. But I spent uh, $517 on my big Walmart grocery pickup order, excuse me while I scratch my eye, where of course I did another 40 some freezer meals. Um, and then I have this haul of $369, so even if we round up, it's around $900. And again, I, I'm, let me think of the days of the week here. Well, I guess I'm thinking more, we've got a birthday coming up. I know I'm gonna have to get birthday cake and stuff. I'm just like, I sound unorganized. I probably am unorganized, but we got stuff. Don't know if I'm gonna be going back to the store. Might just wait again till June. Do it all again. Today when I'm filming this, May 22nd. So yeah, just a lot. Now, baby chicks. That's the priority, and get those shells out of the oven. If you're new here, there you go, Gabriel. Um, we have a ginormous chicken coop. I will also link that down below when I first got it delivered to our farmhouse five years ago now. I don't know, it's all running together. I uh, lost the last of the chicken flock whenever we moved here to the wilderness, which prompted us getting our great Pyrenees. The Great Pyrenees are now over two years old. We're ready to go at chickens again. Last time I did baby chicks, we raised them in the bathtub. This time we have a setup in our garage. There they are. Mommy, Super. do you like Pecky? I named her oh. Pecky because sometimes she does a scene and moves her foot and, uh -huh. and her beak very fast. So they were born on Monday and they shipped Monday. The way that that works is baby chicks still have enough of the egg yolk left in their system where they can live 72 hours and that's how these hatcheries ship them. I ordered these through mypetchicken.com. I ordered 30 because my goal is I could get two dozen eggs a day because usually in my past chicken experience, chickens lay about six days a week so you always have a few that aren't laying and a whole bunch that are wanted to average out to two dozen a day. And of course we got that bonus one, so we actually have 31. Anywho, these chickens were born on Monday. They shipped them Monday afternoon. Today's Wednesday, we picked them up this morning. We ordered 10 barbed rocks, but they sent us a free extra, so we got 11. We ordered five Easter eggers, and those are the ones that do like the blue and the teal and the green, even a little purpley, different colored eggshells. We got five New Hampshire reds, five, Rhode Island Reds and five light Brahmas. Now those Brahmas are the ones, if you've ever saw the viral video of like the giant rooster that came out of the coop and was several feet tall, we got the hens. We didn't get any roosters. Anyway, the five Brahma hens should be bigger than our other hens and we got them just because something different, something fun to get. And now I'll show you these chickens again. Uh-huh, Pecky's a good name. It picks a lot. Love it. Okay, chickens, so say thanks for watching and we'll talk to you down in those comments below. You can look over on my Instagram to see more about the chickens. I've got a little hashtag Jammerhouse Chickens over there. And anyway, we'll be sharing more. Yay!